I really like nerdy stuff, so much to the point that I've, I've got a Demon Slayer tattoo and wear anime stuff all the time. But there is another side of nerdy that I absolutely love. I study for fun stuff like string theory, other dimensional possibilities, and all that kind of stuff that just explains the world we live in. I find it so fascinating. And when I saw this, I had to check it out. This is 4D Miner or 4D Minecraft. Now, I hear some of you guys probably don't know what 4D is, so they actually do have a really good tutorial which kind of explains it for some people so let's play that first before we actually dive in to this game. Now, to help you understand, I'm going to try and dumbify it so anyone can understand it. We see the world we live in as a 3D object, and we can play 2D games or 3D games, so on and so forth. If I pick up this non-sponsored can and put it in front of you like this, if you were to see it only like this, you could say it's a 2D object. But when I start twisting it and rotating it in the space, it becomes a 3D object. Now, we can see games that move this can around like that, and that is a 2D game. It moves up, down, left, right. Easy peasy. When it starts moving towards and back and rotating in other ways, that's when we know it's a 3D object. And that's what this game's trying to tell us. Now, describing 4D space is a bit difficult. And there's a reason behind that. If we go forward, we can see Frank the Frog. Yes, Frank. I like it. I love his name. But Frank is a 2D character. What? Let's see what would happen if we took Frank and put him in a 3D world. Well, we get something like this. On the left, that's what Frank sees, and we can move Frank around this world. Easy peasy. On the right is what we see. We can see how Frank is moving around this 3D world, but in a weird way. We can use our mouse wheel, and to Frank, it looks like the world's changing. But to us, we can see how this works for him. We can see that if I keep this rotation here and make him walk forward, he'd fall down into the cave. And then down here, if I rotate him around, we can see how he's moving around this 3D world. It is so fascinating. That's how we see it, because we can see a three-dimensional area, and we can see two-dimensional characters moving around this area. But to us, we don't quite get 4D, because we're 3D beings. So the easiest way for me to describe it is, imagine everything you see, but you can see everything that you see from its creation to its destruction. That is technically 4D. It's so hard to describe, but oh crap, this is so cool. Let's actually just create a new world. So I, I look like a crazy person. Look at my freaking science hair over here. Ignore how fluffy my hair does look, and we're going to create a new world going uh 4D. We're just going to call it 4D, and we're going to call it Butter. So if you guys want to try this for yourself, the game will be linked down below, and you can try this all for yourself. So let's just create the world. This might look like Minecraft, but if we start scrolling our scroll wheel, did that make any sense? Probably not. We can see it looks like the world around us is changing from me scrolling my wheel. That is just us glimpsing and traveling through the fourth dimension. Ah! So today I thought I'd play a little bit of this game and just see how I go. I am gonna have to turn down a little bit of my render distance because well, uh, this game, just like Minecraft when it first came out, it it really hits your computer hard. So we're just gonna do that. There we go. And now I should be able to play. Yes, okay, wicked. Oh, oh well, scrolling through the fourth dimension still makes me lag a little bit, but like, look how weird this is. And it doesn't just apply to the visuals. No, no, no. If I break, let's say break these leaves to try and get some sticks from the leaves. Ah! Oh shit. Yeah, there's also creatures that are fourth dimensional that we just can't really see, but we can see some of them at some times. It's weird, boys. All right, all right. Let's break some leaves and try and show what I'm trying to show here. Obviously, it looks like nothing fell on the floor, but if we scroll through the dimensions, we can see there's a stick here and we can grab that stick and beat the shit out of these fourth dimensional beings. There we go. All right, we can... <laughs> So some items don't show up in our dimension. They show up in the fourth dimension. Ah! Uh, how weird is that? It's so cool. Even the moon, if I scroll, it gets bigger, further away. D like, depending on how we are perceiving the fourth dimension is how the things look to us. It is so trippy. My brain is getting fried by this and I love it. So I think today, let's make the goal to actually get one item in this game. There is a single item in this game called the, what's it called? Hold on, let me think of its name. It's called the four dimensional compass. And that shows us a kind of idea of how it looks to a fourth dimensional being of how we look moving around this world, which is kind of crazy to think about. So let's just also grab a few more sticks. I don't know how many more sticks we're going to need because uh, I saw one video on this and hopefully 
hopefully from that little bit of knowledge I have, we can maybe beat this game. <laughs> All right, so let's explore. If we scroll through this dimension, I might be able to see some sticks. I'm not seeing much right now. Oh, the world's changing so much. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm just going to change the settings real quick. Can we, like, lower the difficulty or something? Difficulty, normal. Yeah, let's just set it to no monsters yet. Just so I can actually show you guys some of this game. Okay, well, that's bullshit. You guys maybe don't spawn now. Don't spawn. Don't spawn. There we go. Wicked. All right, we got some hyper silk. Sick. So I guess now that I have a stick, we've got to try and get some more items. Maybe more sticks? Do I need more sticks? Uh, is there, are any sticks even dropping here? I'm not really seeing any. Can I break, like, the logs? Not yet. Okay. Wait, was that a stick? There. There. Okay, sick. And then I can grab that stick. We still can't craft anything. Okay, all right. I think the next thing I'm going to have to do, now that I have sticks, is maybe try and get some other material. I don't know how else I'm meant to get other materials. Can I, like break something with the stick maybe i see there's a different biome down here maybe if we destroy some parts of that biome we might be able to see stuff hold on here we go this is gonna have your mind your mind's about to be blown for a second i am so purple right now holy crap but see this shadow there is a little shadow here if i scroll somewhere in the fourth dimension if we can find it there should technically be a tree here or am i crazy if i just am i just crazy i might actually be crazy so guys like look how weird this is this is so funky. Can I break any of this? Like there's blue stone and stuff here. Can I break any of this? Doesn't look like it. Can I break normal stone? No. What about this red stone? No. Okay. Can I break you? Hello. Please. Please allow me. No. Okay. Wicked. Um, can I break the dirt? No, I can't even break the dirt. What am I meant to be able to break? Can I break this dirt? No. Can I use like my sticks to break the dirt? I can. I can use my sticks to break the dirt and it doesn't look like... Oh, wait, I did get something. I got a rock. Oh, I can craft. I can craft a hammer, hyper silk stick. Oh, wait, so it tells me what it uses. So if I click that, I now have a hammer. Oh, yeah. Okay, can I like now break a tree? So can I now like break... I can. And it brought... Oh, crap, there it is. Okay, so it's in the dimension. Can I, like, did any more drop then, or was it just that? I think it might have just been that. Dude, this is so trippy to my eyes. I love it. If I break that, I can see it. I saw it for a split second in my dimension, and if I reveal more of it, there it is. There's the log, and now I can pick you up, right? Oh, do I have to, I have to go up to it? Yes. Okay, and what else can I craft? I can craft more sticks, maybe? Yeah, so I can get more sticks from logs. There we go. So we have plenty of sticks. Can I now break, like, more of this and get more stone, maybe? Okay, so we're actually getting grass blocks now instead of that. If I use my sticks, can I get more stones from this maybe i don't quite know i feel like i'm onto something here if we scroll through the fourth dimension i can't see any of our sticks that we've got or stones i should say there we go but there's one dude this is so trippy i love it this is so cool can i use my hammer maybe to break like this ore over here we can yes we can oh wicked okay sick can i do i have to like smelt it or something do i have to like get stone to smelt it like a uh, make a furnace or some crap so i can make a few iron bars Okay, so we now have a few iron bars. I can mount, I now make an iron pick. And with an iron pick, I'm assuming I can mine other stuff. <laughs> so an iron pick. I'm assuming there's probably ore I can mine with the iron pick now. Yeah, so I mine the ground way quicker. And I'm assuming I can also scroll through this. There we go. Pick up the ores I missed, dude. This is so trippy to my brain. Like, just look at this. Like, it comes back. It's so trippy. Oh, that's so weird, but so cool. Okay, I'll scroll through the fourth dimension. There we go. There's some ore. All right, sick. Is there any more? Yep, there's some more there. Dude, how cool is that? It hurts my head, but I like it. I like this pain. <laughs> we do have to try and find some of the other ore type because this ore is good, but it's not the most powerful ore we can get. Uh, how do I? I do have some of this. Grab some of that. There we go. Hyper silk. I can make another hammer. That's not really what I want. Uh, oh, wait. Is this a cave system? It is. <gasps> oh, we can explore the cave system. This could get very dangerous because the cave. Wait, there's some of the ore. If I scroll through the fourth dimension, I can reveal some of it. Yeah, put that in a book. <laughs> oh, I dropped my. Oh, no, I dropped it. Uh, is that it? Is that it? There. That's it, right? Yes. Okay, good. Holy crap. Let's just grab some of this or as much of it as we can. Now, if I scroll through, I can reveal where it is. And with this, I should be able to make something. I might need to get some more wood. Maybe because I don't have enough wood, I can't make anything yet. Yo, dude, depending on where we look, it actually affects the fourth dimension. Oh, yo. So if I scroll back this way, now that I'm looking at this wall, it doesn't... Oh, what the frick? <laughs> <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. Oh, even more of it. Okay, we'll probably grab a lot of this because I'm assuming if we get some wood, we can probably use this to make something. I don't, I don't know. I'm just having a guess at the dark right now. I don't know, boys. Wicked. Let's now scroll through the fourth dimension, revealing that stuff. There we go. Grab that. Any more that we've missed? Yes, there is. Dude, what is this? Like, this is so trippy. I know it's laggy a little bit, guys. I'm sorry. My computer's not bu bu built enough for this. Uh, if, you, if you, any video game sponsors out there want to help me with that. 
<laughs> but in all seriousness, my computer is probably not high enough for this game. That and this game is still being optimized. You have to remember that. If I'm sure if I make the old lighting system come back on. Hold on, let's turn, turn smooth lighting off. There we go. Let, let me guess. It's going to... Yeah, it's now going to probably play a lot better. Yeah, I can scroll through this so much quicker. Like, look at this. It's like no lag. I can scroll through this so quickly. We might leave it like this for a little bit, just so you guys have seen the pretty version. Let's just play it like this so we can actually do stuff. Okay, I'm going to take the risk and scroll through this dimension while I'm here. And it does reveal items. Yes, it does. There we go. All right, we could, we have... We have tons of deadly ore. Why is it called deadly ore? <laughs> so I'm assuming the only thing I'm really missing is wood. So maybe I need to get some more wood. Can I mix a stone together? I can. Okay. All right. I'm assuming... Yeah, I'm assuming I need to get some wood. All right. That's easy enough. Do I maybe need some more iron as well? No, I have tons of iron. I think I just need wood. Wait. Oh, no. I'm stuck in the cave. Oh, crap. We need to... Oh, crap. <laughs> okay. So this is the opening. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit! See what I mean? Because I'm traveling this freaking fourth dimension. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, the outer beings watching me right now are like this idiot. Okay, so I'm assuming if I scroll back. Oh, if I scroll this way, can I reveal like more of the... Oh, should I just build a staircase out of here? I swear, I'm just going to build a staircase out of here. You know, three dimensional ideas work here. Oh, this is true. <laughs> This is trippy AF. Okay, where's the exit? I was in here. Okay, you know what? Can I turn like fast, like mouse scroll on? H Hello? What is this? Where am I? There, yes. Oh, there's the exit. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> this kind of raises the question though, doesn't it? Like, what if we built a three-dimensional house in these areas? Like, would that affect anything? Like, that's what I'm going to try that in a minute, actually. Dude, this is so trippy. The music is also really trippy music, and I really like it. Like, it is just weird. It makes your brain think. And it's weird that music's making my brain think. I don't like that. Usually my brain should just be a dead empty space, but apparently not today. So if I scroll through the fourth dimension, I can now see more blocks. Dude, what? Okay, so maybe we need more rocks. Okay, I have a shite ton of rocks now. I have a shite ton of sticks and a shite ton of rocks. What can I do with this? Midnight wood? I don't think I can use that. Maybe I need this dirt? I, I, I don't know. I'm just having a guess in the dark right now. Do I need any of that? No. Maybe I need normal wood again. Maybe I need to find some normal wood. Okay, let's just grab some normal wood real quick because I want to try and make some of these four-dimensional objects that we can make. There we go. Okay, so deadly bar. So we do need normal wood for this. Okay, we may as well quickly grab a bunch of normal wood. Okay, so scroll through the fourth dimension so we can at least see a bit more of what we've broken. Uh, scroll a bit more. <laughs> Holy crap. Dude, this is so trippy. I love it. Put that here. I can make a deadly pick, but can I make like anything else? Let's just put more of those. Make the pick. I don't know if that really helps me. The pick doesn't seem too overpowered. I thought I might be able to make something with the silk. Maybe I can now break something with this pick that I'm just, I didn't know I could break before. Maybe? Hold on a second. Compass. This is one of the objects. This is the one thing I really wanted to make to show you guys. This? Okay. <laughs> Bear with me for a moment here. This is a four-dimensional cube that shows you when I rotate the mouse, depending on how my body is positioned, we can like alter the stance of the four-dimensional world. That plane that we see is what we see. So that, it's so hard to describe this. That white cube thingy, plane, ground, thing, is what we see. But if I just mouse wheel, you can see how it's moving and how that's affecting the terrain around us. Like, what? <laughs> That is so cool. What other... We can probably make a few other objects as well that are also four-dimensional objects, which I really just want to see and play around with for a second. So let's just break a bit more wood because it seems like wood is a very, very valuable resource here. So it's going to grab... Oh, wow. That's a lot of wood. So let's just grab that. There we go. Now I should be able to get some more iron, I think. I need three iron and a chest. Okay, that's not quite what we need, but we also need some more deadly bar. Do I have enough to get that? Yeah, so deadly bar. I think we need three of those as well. And that's the compass. There it is. The 4D glasses. I hear what you're saying. 4D glasses? How the freak does that work? <laughs> well, 4D glasses actually show us objects in the fourth dimension that we just can't see. So as you saw then, there was some stuff on the ground that I, I just couldn't see, but the 4D glasses were letting me know that exists in this world. Okay, let's grab some materials now. Now that I have these 4D glasses and so I can easily see when I just break stuff and if I've missed any while I'm here. And let's actually try and build a little base because I want to see what happens if we try and build a little base in this four dimensional world. So if I now 2D, look how many objects are here, but that's what we see. This is how many objects exist though. Like 
Do I just keep scrolling until I eventually get to it? This is a lot for my little brain to handle right now. Holy crap. Okay, if you guys want to check this game out for yourself, I will link it down below. There is a demo available, but there's also a Patreon version. That's the version I am playing at the moment. So if you guys want to get that, you do have to become a Patreon thing. But honestly, I highly recommend it. This game is still in its design. It's I think it's still in alpha. Might even be in pre-alpha. I'm not too sure, but... It's incredible. This is so cool. I don't know if there are any other cooler objects, so I won't really bother showing that. But now that we have a little bit of stone, let's try and actually build a base. I don't know if it's going to go well, but I want to try and build something. Because we are a... We are a three-dimensional being. And I'm about to try and build something in the third dimension in this world. Hold on, let's go to the compass for a second. Because if I rotate it this way, I should be able to get a bit of a flatter curve. There we go. So now let's go over here. Dude, this is so cool. I hope someone makes a mod for this. But there we go. Place that. Place that. There we go. Well, we've got... Oh, we're placing this, like, on the perfect little... Like, the perfect cubular plane. There we go. Let's just build a little... Hot. There we are. All right. Sick. There we go. Wicked. All right. Uh, let's also add... You know what? Let's add a little bit of structural support to it. Get some wood on the corners. Okay. It looks a little bit weird there, but that's all right. Uh, uh, maybe... Okay. Let's just scroll that back a bit. Okay. Yeah. Sure. That will do. All right. Sick. There we are. And then let's just build a little... Little roof area. But... but there we go. Oh, uh, and, 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 uh, should I say also, but, 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 there we go. Uh, sh yep, yep. Good house design right there. Well, this is, this is really weird because if I scroll now, yeah, my house kind of gets obliterated. <laughs> oh, I gotta love living in the fourth dimension because we're on this flat plane. If I scroll in any way, it just gets rid of it. <laughs> All right, you know, I will say this game has a lot of potential. It has a lot of potential for science fanatics like myself and maybe even people that just love Minecraft. So I will say developer. If you are watching this, this part's for you. Some things I'd love to see, uh, I don't know if it'll be possible, but kind of getting like the deadly ore or maybe the hyper silk and wrapping blocks in it. So then when you place those blocks, like they're hyper silk blocks, that they stay constantly there and the fourth dimension moves around them. So for example, if I placed, let's say the, this block here, when I scroll, that will stay there no matter what. Even if this terrain goes through those blocks, those will just stay there as a solid object. So you can actually have a stable base in the fourth dimension. I think that would be really cool. And then you can also make it so fourth dimensional beings can't go through it. Because obviously this house, if we get it back to its uh, a functional state, yep, that would do. Obviously imagine this was all blocked off. A fourth dimensional being could still get through this wall. It, it, our freaking ability of building a wall doesn't stop it. It's a fourth dimensional being. So I think a, a block or a block type that would allow us to build something that actually would allow us to survive would be freaking wicked. So that's probably my main idea I've got. But so far you've got some great stuff happening here. I am so excited to see what's to come from this because this is just, this is freaking amazing. So I hope you guys did enjoy this little video. I know a bit weird. I don't usually do webcam stuff, but let me know if you want to see more of it because this was really fun. But anyway, guys, my name is Troy. I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.